Hello there, everyone. Welcome to my channel. I'm Dr. Lee from Bukit Matajam, Penang. Right now, I'm staying in Kluang, Johor. And uh, we are now at a new beginning, a fresh start, whereby we are doing my book, okay? From the first chapter to the last chapter. Today is already lesson 3 or chapter 3. So I would like to welcome everyone to Dr. Lee's method, English Grammar Level 1. This is Level 1. So do not think that Level 1 is um, very, very simple. Not really. It's for adults, it's for school students. Anyone who wants to have a strong foundation, start with this book. It has 38 chapters or 38 lessons. 1,384 questions. I'm going to finish all together with you. Okay, we are going to do this book. This book is written by me. And uh, this is what you see inside here. Today we are already at the, at the third chapter. Uh, lesson 3, which is uh, Collective Nouns. Uh, no. Proper nouns. This is the one. Proper nouns. After proper nouns, we will go to collective nouns. So, for 38 lessons, we challenge you to a 38-day challenge. We challenge you. Okay? And it started actually, I started actually on the 1st of July. Okay? So, by the third lesson, it means to say we have done 3 days, therefore we have 36 days to go for this 38-day challenge. Okay? So let us challenge each other and complete this book. Today, lesson 3, which is proper nouns. So if you look at the board, what you are seeing on the board is what you can see here. So proper nouns, we have, uh, we have to always remember to start with common nouns. Common nouns are divided into four groups. People, animals, places, and things. For people, you have boy, girl, uh, teacher, student. Animals, cat, dog, cow, sheep, rabbit. Places, park, a river, a pond, you know. Things like a pen, pencil, chair, table, cupboard, or cupboard, whiteboard, you know. Now, from common nouns, we move to proper nouns. Now, remember that common nouns are small letters. Okay? But proper nouns are big letters. Why? Because proper nouns are names given to common nouns. So, for example, boy. We give a name to the boy. Example, Sunny Lee. Sunny Lee, S-L, capital letters. Lee being the surname. Animals, if it's a cat, I named the cat Chomel. So C is the big letter. Places a park, for example. I named the park Taman Rekriasi Intan. Big letters. Things, for example, a pen. I give a name to the pen or I buy a pen with this brand or this name. Faber Castell. So F, C would be in capital letters. So all these capital letters are called proper nouns. Small letters are called common nouns. Okay? Exercise 1. So, exercise 1, we have... Um, you are supposed to uh, underline the proper noun. So, they went for a movie at Rex Cinema. Rex Cinema is the proper noun because they are written in capital letters. Second one, Mr. Wong is going to Manila tomorrow. So, Mr. Wong, Manila, both are in capital letters. One is the name of a person, the other is the name of a place. My sister was born in November. From January to December, capital letters. Why is the name given to the man? And uh, he sailed to Port Klang on the Royal Caribbean. Port Klang is the name of a place. Royal Caribbean is the name of a big cruise ship. Okay, and uh, we have an assembly every Monday. Monday, M capital letters from Monday right to Sunday or Sunday to Monday is all in capital letters. 
Linda calls her dog Toby. So Linda, oh no, I'm sorry, you are here. The students are going to visit the National Park next week. So National Park, NP, capital letters, why? They are, it is the name of a place. And the second exercise is, rewrite the sentences below and you have to put capital letters where where necessary or what I say, where you need to do it. So Wendy goes to work on Monday, Wendy capital W and M capital M. Monday capital M, Wendy is the name of a person, days of the week, months of the year, you need capital letters. Tokyo is the capital of Japan. Tokyo place, Japan place, both need capital letters. And January is the first month of the year, January J, capital letters. From January to December, you must use capital letters. Miss Lin visits Myanmar every year. Miss Lin, ML, capital letter, the name of a person. Myanmar is the name of a country, so M must be in capital letters. And Linda calls her dog Toby. Linda, L, capital letters, T, capital letters, because it's the name of a dog. Linda is the name of a, a lady or a girl. The highest mountain in the world is Mount Everest, M-E capital letters, because it's the name of a mountain, given to a mountain. So we have already finished three lessons. Lesson one is common nouns. Lesson two is countable and uncountable nouns, also on common nouns. And then now we move to something new, proper nouns. But proper nouns come from common nouns as well. Common nouns are small letters, proper nouns are big letters. Alright? And uh, remember, add me in on Instagram. Okay? On Instagram, I use the name Susan Lee. And remember, hashtag learn with Dr. Lee. Okay? And um, post your progress on Instagram or story so that we can learn this together okay so and um, click the description box below okay and then you get more details all right so thank you for watching my video thank you for following and together we will complete this book in 38 lessons 38 videos each video is one lesson today is the third video we have another 36 days to go because we have done 3 days. So thank you very much for watching. If you want to order this book, you can. Just go down to our description box and you can see a Google form. You can fill, it, fill the form there and we will process. Okay, so thank you for watching once again. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye. Oh yeah, don't forget to give me a like, share and subscribe. Alright?